Pierre Polyev loves free speech. You can tell by the way he hates talking to the press and hasn't responded to any of our requests for an interview. Maybe he just doesn't check his email, but he did reach out to me personally with a very thoughtful robocall. I'm common sense conservative leader Pierre Polyev calling to give you a special invitation to my Spike the Hike, Axe the Tax rally at 1 p.m. Sunday, March 17th in Halifax. And the next Prime Minister of Canada, Pierre Polyev. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Halifax! I can uh, resist everything except temptation. I tried to get Pierre to notice me by playing it cool. But I did have to stand in line with my fellow patriots. Wow, Pierre Polyev, such an honor to meet. My name is Dan, I'm with 22 Minutes. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Canada's next prime minister and laser eye surgery success story. Congratulations, I think you're doing an amazing job. If it was up to me, you'd be the leader of the opposition for the rest of your life. Well, I won't be, sadly, for you and, and, and you and your, and your, but you know what? Uh, you'll have to earn a living rather than getting it from uh, taxpayers' money. I love that you're cracking down on crime. All right, I love that you're cracking down on murder. Murderers, thieves, CBC journalists. I love that you're cracking down on axing the tax. Why your rate ratings are so terrible? All right, my friend. No, I think that's Heartland. Okay, thank you, Listen. Okay, thank you, sir. Pierre, we love you, Pierre. Okay, thank you. Just come off this way. You're done. Getting snubbed by my hero was the greatest moment of my life. So I decided to get back in line and do it again. I'm, I mean, I'm happy to wait and just you know cross my fingers, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to just monitor our timing. Mr. Polyev, me again. We've got a lot of big questions for you. We want to know what is your least favorite province, and could we save money by sinking PEI into the sea? I think we could save money by spending a billion less on terrible comedians. Absolutely. And, and, and propagandists from the PMO. Your critics are saying that your uh, policies are far right, even authoritarian. How will you stamp out that dissent when you're prime minister? Thank you, thank you for standing up for freedom of the press. Let's bring it home. Canada, Canada, Canada. Well, one thing is for sure, Canada is broken. But that guy in there, that's the guy who's gonna finish the job. For 22 Minutes, I'm Dan Dillabaugh.